Lee, the wretched away curse struck again on Wednesday and then mm. Thursday, of course, the result at Telford didn't help either. No, but there's still a lot to play for this season. Uh, you know, there's, uh, there's four games for ourselves, uh, other people involved, obviously. Uh, between now and uh, I'd say 10 o'clock on Tuesday night is, uh, is a very, very important period in our season. Half time uh, at Curzon, mm -hmm. you felt as though you should have been ahead. Well, you only have to look at the highlights on, uh, on Curzon's website uh, to, uh, to see that uh, most certainly we should have been here. Yeah. Um, probably, you say in the first half, 70% of the good chances fell, fell to our feet and uh, you know, we didn't convert any of them. And uh, a bit of deja vu, wasn't it, on the stroke of half time in injury time, just like at Salford. Um, free kick that, no, in my view, wasn't given, but saying that we should have defended it better. We, uh, we started too deep and then we went deeper before you know it got on top of Henrik. And normally if that ball would have come in and Henrik would have had a clear view of sight, he'd just gathered it up very easily. So yeah, frustrating. Uh, but uh, you know, today's game is the most important one now that you know, Wednesday's gone, you know, you can't pull it back. 12 points to play for. Mm -hmm. Four wins, 49 points. You'd be very unlucky to go down with 49 points. Well, I look at it as well. I mean, you know, we're, we're at home to York. They're pushing for the playoffs. It's going to be a stiff game for us. Uh, but you look at Alfreton, you look at Tamworth. They're going away to uh, you know some uh, couple of tasty fixtures in, uh, I believe it's Brackley and Kidderminster. And obviously uh, they won't play on Tuesday. So as I mentioned before, you know, come Tuesday night at 10 o'clock, the uh, you know the picture could look completely different. And uh, that's what we've got to aim to do. Do you feel it's better playing? teams at this stage of the season I mean you've both got something to play mm. for but opposition also has something to play for Lee. Mm. Well, yeah, yeah I can appreciate that and then people say when people in mid table they don't have anything to play for you know the pressure's off and sometimes you don't know what you're going to get but uh, um, in a way I prefer you know to be playing against somebody that's got something at stake uh, because obviously there's, there's pressure on both sides isn't it? so uh, you know York uh, want the points to, uh, to get into the playoffs we want the points to get out of the uh, the relegation battle, so uh, you know, there's pressure on both teams today. And then three games after today mm. against teams in and around where you are. Well, yes, yeah, I mean, it, it, could, it could be in our hands fate, or, it, or, it, it? or it couldn't be in our hands, but we have to make sure that it is in our hands, and, and to do that, then we've got to be picking up results. Uh, it's a bit like a mini league now, isn't it? It's a mini league of four games over over two weeks, and uh, you know, we have to come out successful from it. Any injuries from, when, uh, from Wednesday night's um, family or not? No, no injuries. Uh, we, uh, we welcome back Nathan Stainfield. Uh, he was unavailable, not through injury or or anything like that, um, um, but he was unavailable on Wednesday. But uh, we welcome back into Baltimore. Mm -hmm. Any chance you could give us a line up or not? Uh, I not, at, you not, can't, a, not at, not at this stage, <laughs> not at this stage, no, if you don't mind. No, okay, but uh, well, best of luck today, uh, Lee. We'll speak later. All right, thank you. Cheers, thanks for your time.